so you figure you're going to get into van life and you're searching for that vehicle that's going to meet your needs well i've got one little uh tip that uh may save you a lot of aggravation it's uh something that i've seen come up on a couple of uh different sites and uh when you add uh uh, what it happened to them and the type of vehicle they were looking for it maybe is something that you uh, should be aware of in uh, trying to assess what kind of vehicle you're going to get so anyway a lot of people are for rightful reasons going to these uh, cargo vans uh, or any vehicle that may have been in a uh, industry where uh, they have workers working with them and one of the issues is that uh, they really don't care uh, about how they get in and out of these vehicles, uh, mud, water, snow, whatever on their feet. And what you should be doing, especially if there's rug, is uh, taking the rug up underneath the, the driver's uh, front area, uh, the gas pedal, and on the passenger side. And really look for areas where the water has been leaking into the floor cavity and sitting because if they haven't put the proper uh, floor mats in it's not going to uh, benefit you at a later date because it's going to be a hidden problem that could uh, sabotage what you're doing so anyway I'm going to show you a product that uh, for a number of years now I have uh, used extensively and uh, there's a couple of variations of this and uh, but it's the idea and uh, the way they function that is um, uh, very beneficial to you. Uh, so if you don't have them, I would put them in. Like in, in my uh, ProMaster, I did it right from the beginning. Uh, it was the first thing I ordered for the van because I, I was to have other experience with them and I knew they worked. So I'll show it to you and I'll show you how they work. And this is... Uh, after being on the road for a while now I'll show you uh, what state they're in and how effective they are and what happens uh, you know in other areas so anyway I'm gonna take you off the tripod here and I'll just kind of give you a look around so anyway what they're called to begin with is a product called WeatherTech and they're a molded uh, a floor mat and um, there's other pro uh, products to uh, I forget the other one I'll I'll put it up here somewhere uh, that, that I've seen uh, and I don't know there may be more so anyway the, they're laser molded and uh, they're there to protect your floor so and I'll show you why anyway hang on okay so uh, anyway hopefully you can see this these are the weather techs and as you can tell hopefully you can see all this they're all molded and what they do is they direct the water from uh, uh, where your gas pedals and feet are sitting and it directs it to the outside of the uh, vehicle or it just captures it. So now in my case, what it's protecting against is if you look under here, if I didn't have these, which is maybe a lot of cases with um, uh, construction companies or uh, you know people who uh, aren't using this as a personal vehicle, if you look underneath, here is the places, uh, like on the ProMaster, where you can see how the water would get in there. And this is the, uh, the, the cavity for the uh, battery. It's going to leak into this area in here. And what I'll do is I'll actually take this out and show you. Now, the other consideration is, and it doesn't what you have to do is kind of look at what kind of vehicle you got and how these things are working in my situation they come down uh, if the water gets in here and even when i'm walking the, the the water gets or snow gets in there and these three holes are screws holding that panel in and what i do uh for myself is not i, I got water in them because today I, I washed the vehicle and i thought oh they're dirty i'll try and clean them out with the power uh sprayer <laughs> not recommended but anyway uh, wh what I normally do though is uh, I have a monthly uh, routine of going around with WD-40 and uh, I'll spray these and uh, e even if the uh, WD-40 sits sits in these cavities they're always going down because they're going into the body so I'm trying to protect that from rotting 
and then I do my uh, my hinges and things at the same time so anyway this is the real world of how these things work and as you can see they collect a lot of stuff and you have the ability to save it from getting into areas that you don't want it to now I'm still getting stuff in there but at least it controls it and what I like is it doesn't uh, um, get underneath and into that battery uh, cover on these ProMasters and uh, it works effectively as you can see on, on the ProMaster it's a one-piece unit and uh, it goes right across the hump in, in this area here right so it goes right across into there okay so anyway what I'll do is I'll take this out and uh, I'll take that battery cover off and just show you um, because I, I don't know what the, uh, the molding is on the inside, but I, I can show you how, if this wasn't here, it would, uh, uh, in the normal course of uh, people getting in and out who don't care, uh, it would uh, uh, potentially lead to a rotted floor. So anyway, let's check this out. Yeah, and the way I'm doing it, it kind of captures all the dirt that brings it out with it, eh? Anyway, okay, so as you can see, I'll show you around here just so you can see what's going on here. Yeah, it, it, it captures about, oh, I don't know, 95% of the stuff. And now let's just check because obviously now this is uh, the way it's sloped and all that. It, it, it may trap a certain amount of the water, but uh, I don't know that it'll capture all of it. So anyway, bear with me here. I'll take this off and I'll be right with you. Okay, now uh, I don't know if uh, you're aware of this, but anyway, there, there's uh, the, the releases here. There's one that you do with your hand, and then there are releases that uh, I, I do with a quarter. And uh, th that's more important in the back areas because uh, it's pretty tight. And uh, you just uh, undo them, turn them as such, and that unit will pop out. Okay, so here we are. I've released these uh, tabs and there's uh, on the Chrysler here or the Ram Pro Master there are I guess six of them. So anyway, I'll take this out Slide it back Okay, now it's out Okay, so let's have a look at this Okay so in my case, or in my situation, I'm right. So if you can see, the, the, this is where that fits into. So, you know, you, you're, you're, the water would be running down here, hitting this edge, and just rolling into here. Now, I see they have some holes here, and they may be for drainage. But uh, nonetheless, it's water getting into a place that you're not able to control. So at any rate... Uh, and it's the same up here like uh, I'm, I'm sure these holes are drainage holes but uh, it, it, it's still you know it, it doesn't make me feel like uh, it's the best thing for me and the added insurance of being able to uh, put in the floor mat and uh, uh, pretty much guarantee that the moisture isn't going to get in there is only something that's going to benefit you in the future so at any rate uh yeah here we go so i'll clean this all up and then i'll put the mat back in and i know that it's uh it, it's what it's supposed to be for uh, my needs and in fact uh yeah i don't know if you can see here it almost looks like uh where is my finger yeah right there it, it almost looks like we're getting into a, a little bit of a uh, uh rust there so uh around a bolt so i don't know if water got in there at some point but uh or, you know what in fact <laughs> It could almost be coming up from underneath. That's the other component here is, uh, you know, it's coming from two directions, eh? Because I can see rust around that one. And I, I could almost guarantee you that uh, that's open to the bottom. So, but anyway, yeah, when you're buying a vehicle, I would go and have them 
pull the mats out or if you can lift them or do whatever get underneath try and find that location from up above or down below and uh, make sure that that floor is stable because if it's not you got a bad investment I don't care what you're getting it for it's it's going to lead to uh, heartache down uh, the road it's not going to last and you, you're uh, you know investing in something that uh, is uh, got a limited life so anyway hopefully that helps and uh, um, it's a benefit to you and uh, you know or a consideration that you hadn't uh, uh, crossed yet so anyway good luck with that one and uh, I'm going to uh, finish up here and uh, so much for my lecture take care guys mm -hmm.